guess I'll start. Out. Gary, just talk about this team and how far you guys have come in the last couple months. How does it feel to just play right at the end? Um, we've come an extremely long way. You know, obviously we didn't have the uh, non-conference. Um, wins that we wanted, but you know, um, as soon as we got back from Christmas, we uh, we settled down. We sat down as a team, and we just wanted to get better each and every game. And I think we've done that, you know, in games like this show. You know, um, early on in conference, or even before not before the, with the non-conference, we we wouldn't have been able to win a game this big, you know. So uh, I think we've come a long way. I'm extremely proud of our team, and uh, we will just focus on uh, Wednesday getting this next win. What uh, put it in context of? How much are you looking forward to now, kind of the end of the season? And it may be surprising some people. Um, a lot, you know. I mean, before the season started, we were picked, what, ninth? So we've been, that's, that's something that's uh, been uh, on our minds the whole time, you know, trying to surprise some people. We, you know, we felt disrespected that we got picked so low. So um, we're just trying to um, get out and uh, get some wins and try to prove some people wrong and uh, make some noise in the conference tournament. Carl, uh, what what is the last I don't know month or so, three weeks a month been like for you? Uh, it's been really exciting. Uh, you know, coach put a lot of trust in me, and I gained a lot of confidence. You know, playing with these guys, and I just want to be able to be their team leader and just get the guys in the proper spots and find open guys and make plays for my team. You uh, the numbers kind of show the team even has uh, more success when you're uh, in the lineup. How much pride do you take in that? That maybe it's not how many points you score, but the team success. Uh, I just want to be able to help the team win as any way possible. Like, <clears throat> I'm a pass first guard, so I look for the open teammates, look for my guys, especially Gary here. And, uh, you know, I just want to get them shots. And I really hang my hat on, on the defensive end, so I just want to be able to play hard on both ends of the floor and help my team be successful. Um, same kind of question I asked uh, Gary. Just what, uh, I, I don't know, do you guys feel like you can make some moves here in the last few weeks of the season? And it surprised some people. Uh, who, you know, let's be honest, the last time you played Missouri State, it was yeah. a complete opposite kind of ball. Yep. Uh, I think we can surprise some people. You know, uh, we're playing our best basketball right now in February, as we talked about. And like Gary said, uh, after Christmas, we just dedicated ourselves to just being, getting better each day, uh, individually and as a team, and we've been doing that. So I think that we have the capability to surprise some people in St. Louis. Um, Gary, just... Uh, for this, for this game in particular, what got you going in the first half? It's kind of tight, 8-8, eight, eight, next thing you know, boom, you guys are on a 19-2 run. Was there anything you were seeing in their defense, or what was, you know, what was working for you? Um, besides, you know, shots falling, I think the reason we got on that big run was defensively. You know, we had a bunch of stops consecutive. I know we had at least, like, 10 stops in a row, and they got a basket, and we got like six more or something like that. So, uh, you know, whenever we can get stops, uh, we don't really worry about offense. Our defense try to lead into our offense. So I think that was the huge thing. It wasn't really reading their defense. It was just uh, us getting better on defense. Carl, talk a little. First off, let's talk about Enlil, Jacob, and, and his comfort as an elder statesman on the team. You kind of pull him aside, or do you see Jacob playing a little more confident? Yeah, uh, I do. Uh, each and every game, like once he sees the ball going, or he gets a good rebound, or he makes a good defensive stop, you know, he has a lot of confidence. And I just try to instill that confidence within him all the time. You know, being an older guy, I know it's like playing at you know being younger. So I just want to help him as any way possible. And I always try to find, get him the ball, try to find him to try to get him going because you know we play through him. And then lastly, for me, is Reed. Part of what you're doing is kind of easing the burden on, on a freshman a little bit. How has that worked in the sense of, was that kind of a goal of yours is, you know, like, to help take some of the pressure off him? And how do you two work together? Are you kind of a mentor a little bit? I just want to help him as any way possible. I do any of our younger guards, just help them on both ends of the both ends of the floor. Uh, he's scoring the ball a lot more now, being off the ball. I just want to get guys shots, and um, he's been hitting a lot of shots, and he's been playing really well. And lastly, for either one of you two, if you beat Loyola, you get out of the playing game. It means you get that not out. You kind of get all into the quarterfinals. It's kind of a minor goal, but that's a significant goal nonetheless. How do you two feel about it? Is that kind of motivation when you play Loyola to, hey, let's, let's, let's get out of Thursday? Uh, I mean, yeah, it is, but you know, we're not really worried about that. We're really worried about just getting a win. You know, they beat us at that, they beat us at their house, so we owe them we owe them this game, uh, just like Missouri State killed us at the house. We owe them this game, so um, you know we don't want to look too far ahead on things like that. We're just trying to get, like I said earlier, get better one one day at a time and get, uh, get a win on Wednesday. All right. Uh, just one question about the guys. How does it feel? Like, what are your thoughts on on your senior day? Putting up a 35-point win on a team that, that embarrassed you earlier in the season, especially you, Gary, putting up 
Well, you know, it meant a lot. You know, we had a lot of family and friends here, you know. We knew that it was like a senior, it was really a senior day for the seniors. So, you know, we just want to play as hard as we can. And I really want to commend the younger guys because each and every huddle, each and every time out, they said, uh, this is for the seniors, this is for the seniors. You know, it really meant a lot to us for us to do that. And, you know, it just meant a lot. I'm just glad we got a win. Uh, like Carl said, you know, it means a lot, you know. Every, every senior in Division One basketball or any division in basketball game, when it's senior night, you know, you want to go out with a win no matter if you score 20 points or no points, you know, it doesn't matter. You just want to get a win. You want to go out in front of your family and friends and uh, get a win, go out on a good note. You know, this is a little different because we, we have a home game on Wednesday, but regardless, it's still senior night and we wanted to get a win. And like Carl said, I want to thank the young guys. And even the coaching staff, every time out, every huddle was like, yo, this is for the seniors. Let's get this win for them. And uh, like you said, Missouri, like I said earlier, you just uh, mentioned Missouri State killed us at the house, so we owed them this game. And uh, it was good to, good to get a really big win on senior night. It was really huge. Start off, it's going to look pretty impressive when you, they see what you guys did on January 3 against this team to what you did today. Is that a reflection on, on how far things have come? Well, that's probably a little bit too much of a improvement, but um, the one thing I'm really proud of this group is, I'm telling you, in life, people can splinter and break real quick. This group, we got refocused in Jan uh, at Christmas break and just simply tried to get take one a day at a time and get better, and they really listened and bought in, and, and where a lot of groups would, you know, not buy into it and we have gotten better and then we got a little bit better and we talk, started talking about trying to play our best basketball in February and so a great credit tells you a lot about who these guys are and um, you know now you get down to this part of the season not going to change anything try to come tomorrow and each guy's got a little bit something different he needs to get better at and obviously you know Lyle was staring us on Wednesday and um, do the best we can on Wednesday night, but um, just happy for these guys to uh, to hang in there and believe and and you know freshmen fighting through things. You've seen those freshmen get better. I mean Reed continues to get better. Ori and CJ look pretty comfortable now, and um, so. You think things uh, feel fine? And the reason I say that is you're kind of late. You're getting late the season. I think you've won five out of eight now. Got a chance to move out of a playing game, and you could be kind of a tricky team in St. Louis for people now because Jacob's playing well. You're not as one dimensional yeah. as a few. Are things fun? I mean, do you kind of see that in the sense of guys yeah. going up for practice? Th like, that's a hard word in athletics yeah. today. You know, um, it's a little bit different, I think, at least for me, because I'm more at peace. This is, I don't want to be a head coach someplace else, and so it's not like you're trying to, you know, do well. It's about the guys and the program, and so we try to have as much fun as we we can with it. Um, you know, I don't want to start. Yeah, I don't want to start. You know, putting a bunch of pressure on them either. Just stay the course, and uh, everybody knows kind of you know what the Loyola game means. But we'll stay the course, and we try to enjoy it, win or lose uh, the day of get ourselves refocused the next day and, and what do we need to do to get better from today and then moving on to our next game. And so um, I'm happy that they can feel that a little bit. And, um, you know, we've talked about there's crazy things happen at the end of February, early March. I mean, it just done this 30 years. At least give yourself a bat in your hand to have a chance to do some of those things. Uh, about three weeks ago, you started playing Carl Warren. Was it just an, an instinct, or were, you, or were you kind of saying, hey, maybe I could do some things to get Reed a shot? But yeah, it, it, it brought good results. Yeah, you know. the, the truth of that is uh, CJ hurt his knee in practice, and we put Carl and Reed in together, and it kind of looked like it took a little pressure off Reed, and you know, a lot asking out of a point guard, freshman point guard, to, by the way, go make everybody better, go guard the, the, the most quickest athletic guy on the opponent's team, and, oh, by the way, we need you to be our leading scorer. So this, I think, has really helped him not have to uh, do all three of those things. And the thing I keep, you know, we talk about is, you know, he had three assists tonight. He's continued to score the ball, but also making others better. Uh, I guess 
Coach, how does it feel like on this game to have, first you have a 5 2 right here, but each of them has at least one monument to play as the game went on? Yeah, it's just, you know, it's really neat for them. Uh, you know, it's it's how you would you get all their families. You know, two California families. Uh, the Berkleys are from Georgia, and um, for them to have a chance to be here in one day, and all those kids do such a great job. It's it's the way it's you know supposed to be. Yeah, what were your thoughts on uh, just Jacob's game today? I mean, now that he had a couple big, he had a couple, he had a couple really shots. He had a couple big blocks and big post plays. But he even had a point for yeah. one child's part. Yeah. Uh, that, wasn't exactly what we wanted him to do, but um, I've said all along. I mean, Jacob has all the tools, and and I think we believe a little bit more in him than he believes in himself. And uh, I, I still think all the experience he's gotten the last two years is going to pay off with his last two years here. And um, you know, most big guys, it takes a couple of years to kind of. Yeah, for them to mature and, and be at their best. Uh, so all this experience and minutes, and I think we're going to, he's going to see great success in his last two years here.